it's just, it's, uh, words can't explain it. Words just can't explain it how, how bad it is. Food insecurity is, a, is an issue in Guelph Wellington where some people go days without food, others uh, sacrifice a meal, um, and others are more or less worried about where their next meal is going to come from. You know there's people that struggle, but until you actually get involved in something, you can't understand how widespread it is. This is like a system change that if they do it right here, it can have a huge impact. It's not just for ourselves, but it's for the greater good. When people talk about food insecurity and hunger, often the impression is that it's really just amongst a few people, but the reality is that it's such a widespread issue. What is the solution that's right in front of us that because we're so used to the way it is, we're not seeing? I started at The Seed in the spring of 2016 when The Seed was just over a year old. My background in the previous 20, 25 years has been in farming. How to connect people with food, right? That's my um, experience over the last two and a half decades. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen percent of Canadians are food insecure. And we know, scientifically, that people who are in that position are much more likely than the rest of the population to experience food-related chronic diseases. And so really that, in a nutshell, is what the seed is about. It's like, why is it that, that that huge chunk of our population can't be healthy through food when there's so much good food around and we have the resources in our communities to make sure everyone has good food? Why, why wouldn't we do that? I worked right up until I was 80 years old, mm -hmm. and that makes a big difference. And then I had the surgery, and then this epidemic came, and bingo, you know, everything flew into my face. Because I'm at an age now I can't get over very much because I'm 82 years old. I love people, and uh, it would be, even just for one, even me talking to you today, you don't know how good that makes me feel just to talk to you today. Mm -hmm. The Upcycle Kitchen is the Seed's latest social enterprise. The idea is that we can take that food that would otherwise go to waste and upcycle it, create value-added products uh, that we would then sell on a sliding scale and the production of those things would then create employment and training opportunities for youth who are facing barriers to employment. All the food is uh, in some way upcycled, right? Almost all of it. Almost as all. much as we possibly can and sometimes almost 100% but there's always an upcycle component in the uh, meals. It also keeps our chefs um, <laughs> nimble and uh, it's a lot of fun to go, okay, you've got seven boxes of asparagus. Let's, let's see what we can do with it. <laughs> yeah, being creative, like as cooks, you know, we're kind of the, uh, we're kind of the perfect food rescuers, man. That's what we do, that's our jam. So these might be too big and too gnarly, whatever, but they're perfectly good to eat and to cook up. So what we're going to do today is we're going to peel them, mash them up as a starch, 
and then put them in with potatoes. Nice. Yeah. I consider myself a Guelphite, born in Toronto, came here in 1978. Um, I am a potter. I have a very small studio on Liverpool Street in our little barn. So as a potter, when I look at mud, it can be sometimes a little bit repulsive to people. It's gooey, it's... it's kind of looks inert and a lot of people don't like this texture of it. I turn something that is kind of nebulous into something gorgeous for well, the well-being of people and we take food, do the same thing here. I'm going to show you something really fun. I found these amazing vegetables and I, and I wanted to, I wanted everybody to enjoy them. You know, you can really anthropomorphize these carrots. I mean, I think they're quite beautiful <laughs> unto themselves. Go, go, and go. yeah, and what's always been really fun is that when somebody has found something, they say, Goldie! <laughs> these are stressful times for everybody, but this has been such a, a positive, um, positive time for me to be able to be here. However, an individual finds meaning and purpose in their lives. This is what we all are looking for because that is a deep satisfaction and it brings a, a deeper happiness. It's not a fluffy happiness. It's something deep that we know that we've accomplished something and that it, it's not just for ourselves, but it's for the greater good. I have been a Guelph resident since uh, 1988, uh, from South Africa to the bitter cold. <laughs> I tried to move away a couple of times, but there's something about Guelph that just pulls you right back. Just after my son was born, I got a job at Polycon, worked there for 18 and a half years, uh, laid off due to overhead. And it was during that that I discovered Seed and I liked what they were offering. I absolutely love volunteering. It's, a, a, it's such a good group that I work with. And to know that everybody that should be eating, we should all have access to food, don't. And so bringing these baskets to them with fresh produce and everything is just brightening their days. I want to see one that's open and not sealed. Oh, they're all sealed though. No. So, um, the volunteers were offered, like, were asked, and they were glad to do it. What we did was wrote little cards in every bin and just saying, keep strong, you know, keep your head up, and thank you. And yeah, it was just a little pick me up. I can't wait to come and even though I found a part-time job I'm still trying to work around this because I really don't want to lose contact and I don't you know I'm going to maintain my position as long as I can we can make somebody's day a little brighter by giving them um, a little bit of food and it's a good day there's one number nine number nine that's yeah. right you yeah. want that first? Um, yeah, sure, we can or put last. that in first. Um, I'll just put it up front so we can put it okay. in first. Yeah, we'll just get all the larges in. I just finished a master's program at the University of Guelph uh, in geography, and I relate a lot of my experience into that program in order to involve food as a topic for geography, and it, it ended up leading me to the seed. Part of my background is in learning how to use GIS and maps, and that was in Nova Scotia. And there we looked at the seed as an example of a like, community food hub type place. With the, the pandemic, I saw like another call come up as like all the semesters were shifting. So it was like late August. And I said, you know, where, where do you need help? And so the help needed was in delivery. And 
I was like, I have experience in delivery, like I'm comfortable with that, it didn't scare me. And this turned out to be something I could really um, offer experience for. And I didn't have to drive, which was the, the other benefit. Bruce is great at that, and I can focus on keeping things organized in the back. This is why I wear my good boots. That's her, she takes it through that window. Yeah. Hey there, you're welcome. As a kid, I was called young and flexible. Like, you know, go and do that, you can do that, you're young and flexible. And so, like, seeing kids kind of volunteer, they're so excited to, to get the delivery and, you know, take everything in one big armload, even if it's like six bags that are gonna break on the way up the stairs and stuff, they're so committed to it. And they open the door and they're yelling, like, thank you, you're welcome. And it's like, you know, I don't get to use my outside voice very often either anymore. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All that sorted and ready for the next one. Hi Margaret, I'm calling from the seed. How are you today? We're about 10 minutes away and we'll bring your groceries uh, just to the back door like always and, uh, and say hi today. Okay, you'll be here in 10 minutes? About 10 minutes, yeah. Okay. All right, okay, thanks so much. Bye. Bye. Stay safe. Sometimes I'll sit on the coach here and I'll, I'll watch for them, you know? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi. Hi, Hi dear. Dave. Come on in. Oh, it's so nice to see you today. It's just like Christmas. This yeah, is exactly. Christmas. Christmas. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm getting half the time. But I thought. So since the seed, uh, it's been marvelous. It's just been so wonderful. And sometimes we get a, a, full, a full course meal with it, you know, and uh, we get potatoes and vegetables and oh, tomatoes and and uh, bananas and so it's, it's just it's just been wonderful for me. I arrived in Guelph without really a whole lot of understanding what I'd be finishing with, but hoping for something food related. It all feels very natural uh, based on how much I love good food and I love making sure other people get good food. The people receiving food for us and participating in our programs are people who are generally low income and looking for positive solutions and looking for food and needing food. And there are also many people involved with our work and our programs who are not low income and who are able to afford food but are participating because they want to be part of the solution. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, hey! hey. Some groceries for you. Oh, thanks man. Uh, just a note, just be careful there's some eggs in there, so yeah. Let's see, we got some whole wheat bagels. Those are always eggs. pretty good. We, we got some eggs. Bananas. I say that we make a breakfast sandwich. You make the bread and I'll make the eggs. When it comes to like the seed programs, how did you find out about it in the first place? Mom found it. Yeah. Uh, I think it was on Facebook that she found <laughs> it. She saw it and she saw the opportunity to get a little bit of help with the financial situation as well as, um, you know, learning about it and trying to support the program as much as she could. Uh, that's why we're here <laughs> now talking about this. We've been in the program for a year. They, they give us food. They've got some good food. Mm -hmm. Like, like they, they, the last time we had a delivery, they gave us raspberries. Mm -hmm. They gave us strawberries, bananas, oranges, um, wheat bread. The thing about this program is that they try to make it healthy and they don't just skimp out on it. They try really hard to keep the community healthy and supported. <laughs> yeah. At The Seed, we believe that all the resources we need to make sure that everyone in our community has access to good food already exists. 
So that's what we're really building on is, a, a, is hopeful solutions so that we don't just accept the way it is. Thank you.